Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain the filters in Synthmaster 1. Synthmaster 1 features two identical filters which can be connected in three separate ways. By default they are connected in series but you can also connect them in parallel or in split mode. Let's go back to series and turn filter 1 on. So, uh, when I look at the filter parameters, I see that uh, mode envelopes and LFOs are already connected to the filter. Um, that's by default. The init patch For the init patch, some uh, modulations are configured uh, by default. If I click on mode envelope 1 and increase the mode envelope amount here, I will see an arc around the cutoff. That indicates that uh, mode envelope 1 is actually controlling filter 1 cutoff. If I switch to mode envelope 2 here, like this, this time uh, mode envelope 2 is actually uh, controlling cutoff. If I go back to mode envelope 1, you see it's um, the arc disappears. So let's switch back to mode envelope 1. Now let's play with the uh, modulation envelope uh, to adjust the filter cutoff. By the way, if you play with the cutoff or resonance parameters here, you'll see that on the routing curve uh, the filter response is actually displayed. Now I'm gonna uh, do a long filter sweep to uh, show you the different filter type differences. Let's make the decay zero and let's have a, a long filter decay. Increase the resonance here. So right now the filter is at self resonance. Um, let's increase the drive so that we uh, introduce some internal distortion inside the feedback loop of the filter. Okay, I'm going to increase the mode envelope amount. This is how the uh, uh, 12 dB per octave uh, leather filter sounds. Now I'm going to switch to low pass 24, which is the default mode filter, which has, uh, which has a 24 dB per octave slope. Now there are also uh, two important settings for the filters which are under the audio engine category. I'm going to switch to the settings tab to see them. Now if you look at the global oversampling parameter it is set to 2 which actually indicates that there's oversampling. Now let's turn off the oversampling and hear the difference. I'm also going to turn on my MIDI controller. Increase the resonance here. Now, versus the oversampling version. In the oversampled version, there is actually less distortion in the filter sweep, especially at high uh, cutoff frequencies.
You can also increase the oversampling to like four, four times, so it's gonna sound more cl clear. Yeah. There's also another setting for the filters. It's called filter nonlinearities. It's set to basic by default, but you can set it to normal. This is gonna use more CPU. versus basic so the, the difference between basic and normal is usually uh, more obvious at uh, self-resonance setting I'm gonna go back to basic for now and I, let's now turn off the oversampling and see how it sounds hear how it sounds As you hear at high cutoff frequencies, we have the uh, or uh, anti uh, we have the aliasing noise. So let's turn on the oversampling and continue exploring the filters. There's also a boost parameter here for the filters. So what boost does is for leather and diet leather filters, um, the filter response, uh, the the filter volume lowers actually when you have resonance let's look at the now i'm gonna let's first turn off the boost and see how the filter responses so when i increase the resonance as you see the filter volume drops that's true for leather and diet leather filters but for other filters like state variable, this doesn't happen. So uh, to compensate for the volume drop uh, for leather and diet leather filters, we can actually use uh, the boost parameter. Let's also look at the diet leather. So let, let me talk about the filter categories here. The leather filter is modeled after the Moog leather. Diet leather is modeled after Roland uh, filters. State variable is modeled after the Oberheim state variable. And uh, finally, the byte filter is modeled after Cork MS20. There's also a setting called Asset here. Now let's uh, explain what it is. Basically, when you turn on Asset, the filter resonance is coupled to the cutoff. So at lower cutoffs, you're going to have lower resonance which actually makes the sound smoother. Let me lower the decay uh, so we can understand the difference. Let's also look at the letters. Versus no acid. You see, at uh, lower frequency, at lower cutoffs, I hear an oomph sound without acid, but with acid, there's no oomph sound. Okay, so let's uh, continue looking at the other filter categories. Let's go to the state variable filters. And 
finally bite filter. Each filter has a different characteristic, which is especially obvious when you uh, max the resonance parameter. Now about the input gain, uh, basically this increases or decreases the volume of the input uh, of the filter, which is uh, useful for distorting the filter output. copy this filter, go back to filter 2 and paste it and I'm going to use the same mode, mode envelope for filter 2 but I'm going to change the cutoff frequency of the uh, filter 2. Now the filters are running in series, let's go to splits. They're running in split mode. And let's try parallel. So yeah, so much for the filters. Um, see you in the next tutorial, guys. Thank you for listening to me.